Welcome back. Now this, a new blood test for detecting a heart attack could speed up diagnosis and prevent it from happening. Jerry Willis right now with the incredible innovative details. Jerry. That's right, Maria. Every 43 seconds, someone in the U.S. has a heart attack. That according to the Centers for Disease Control. But what if you could take a test to find out the likelihood of your having a heart attack in the next five years? Now, that's what the developers of the Pulse test say they've done. Using a blood test which scours the body for proteins it develops to repair damage and injured artery walls, Pulse helps patients detect active but undetected heart disease. Dr. Doug Harrington led the team that developed Pulse. 50% of people who have heart disease, their first indication is that they either have a heart attack or they die. And uh, this test is targeted at finding those people before that actually occurs so that preventive strategies and maneuvers can be taken. The test uses nine protein biomarkers to measure the body's immune system response to endothelial damage leading to the formation of unstable cardiac lesions. And that's the source of 75% of all heart attacks. Left untreated, these lesions can pop like a pimple. Take a look at this in major arteries, shutting down blood flow to the heart. The test also builds in clinical risk factors given the subject's age, gender, and health history. It's the only test of its kind. The majority of tests that are used to determine heart attack risk look at lipids exclusively and what are called lifestyle risk factors like do you smoke or your blood pressure. Uh, this is the only test that uses nine different proteins to assess the status of your cardiac health and give you a guideline on what you need to fix to prevent a heart attack from occurring in the future. Now, patients who take the test get a score, essentially their chances of having a heart attack in the next five years compared to people in their age group. The test has been approved by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement and costs $200 to get, Maria. Wow, $200, that's incredible too. They're right. Because I, because I know that the cost of mapping the genome, the cost of all of these new innovations to, to get in front of disease has, has come down quite a bit, but that's really accessible yeah, for is, is this over? Is this over the counter? I mean, can I walk no, into no, no. CVS? You, got and... it, you would order it through your primary care physician and it's administered by this company that Dr. Doug represents. And then I can get my Egg McMuffin. After I pass. Oh, no, 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 then you forego your <laughs> right. you oh, okay. diet. Right. Jerry, is it in addition to other tests that you would get for uh, coronary health? Well, so this health. is an early warning system. That's the way to think of this. So, yeah, you can go and do all the other kinds of tests that you normally do. But, you know, there's been this mystery for doctors out there. The patient who gets a clean bill of health walks out the front door and drops dead from a heart attack. What happened? What I just described is what happened. And so this is the test that would help you get in front of that. Yeah, and and it's, right. it's, so, it's fascinating because the conventional wisdom on cholesterol, he had mentioned lipids, has changed. I mean, it was just a couple of weeks ago there was a report out that the so-called good cholesterol isn't so good after all. Mm. Uh, and it, we used to swear off eating egg yolks. Well, then in the last couple of years, the doctor right. said, no, egg yolks are fine. So to have a test that would be focused on something else other than these you know, lipids, I think, uh, makes a lot of sense and yeah. could save a lot of lives. I'll tell you, a lot of things are happening that are incredibly innovative and technology's helping to really enable us to live longer yeah. and get in front of disease. But then there's this, Julia Louise Dreyfus revealing she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She said it in a tweet yesterday. She said she is now, she said one in eight women uh, are going to get breast cancer. Today, I'm the one. And this is obviously a story close to your heart, Jerry, as you've been outspoken about the cancer fight and are a survivor yourself. That's right. I have to tell you, I loved the way she said this on Twitter because it was so direct, so revealing, unashamed, telling people what was going on. That's what we need more of this month. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I've been through it. Look, you can survive. She's going to be evidence of this, too. She's going to come through just fine. But it really was emotional for me to see that tweet and her saying, today, I am the one, because that realization is, is huge. I, um, I want to, if I might, um, it, it's so important for people to talk about yeah. ha having cancer. And that sounds crazy, but my, I've never said this on the air. My mother has stage four lung cancer. Oh. And she's been battling it yeah. for more than three years. But when other people share their stories, even if it's a parent who's fighting it, even if it's a sibling who's fighting it, it really does create this strange sense of community and support. Yes. Just to know what other people are going through, that you're not alone. Right. That's and one so of the I wanted to thank you for sharing your story, because I know it's hard. It's hard to 
reveal that part of yourself at your most vulnerable, but it really do, does lift us all up, Jerry. You're Thank right. you. Well, I, I feel for your mother, and I, I hope she's doing okay, and it is a family. And what I would say to breast cancer folks out there, people who maybe you're getting diagnosed today, maybe you're just going for a mammogram, yeah. there is a community of support. Don't be alone. Being alone is the worst thing. Jerry, thanks for your courage and your leadership. Sure and get a, yeah. get a mammogram. Get a mammogram. Get a mammogram and a sonogram if yeah. you can. Exactly. Coming up.